Psalm 77. Man, is that not an interesting psalm. The first 10 verses, Asap, the psalmist, basically writes his own death sentence and sings his own funeral song. The culmination of that is in verse 10 when he says, This is my fate. The Lord has turned his hand against me. Most people feel that way at certain points in life, like, man, everything's against me. There's harsh opposition. Things are falling, not in place, but out of place. What in the world's going on? This just must be my fate in life. God's even against me. Man, I don't know if you've ever felt that way. Maybe you've even thought that or said that, but I wanna give you some good information today. Don't stop in the middle of the season you're in and don't stop reading Psalm 77 at verse 10. What begins to happen in verses 11 through 20 are these five things. Asap starts recalling all God has done for him in the former days. What God did in the daytime of his life, he starts bringing it in to the darkest night of his life. Not only does he recall, the Bible says he starts replaying it. Start, he starts replaying what God has done over and over and over because in that recalling and replaying, ultimately it brought a reward of the Lord's presence in the middle of his hardship, in the middle of his tough situation. The Lord's reward is recorded there in Psalm 77 as well, where he starts moving in, where he starts shifting, where he starts doing what only he can do. And then the psalmist starts to record after the recalling, the replaying, and the reward of God's presence, the reward of God's hand and blessing and power started moving once again in his life. It brought a deeper reverence in Asap's life where Asap ultimately said, man, what got into me? How was I thinking I was gonna live this life without God? I don't wanna do this without God. And then Asap even records that not only did this reverence come in his life, that it produced a renown in the bystanders around him once they saw God's hand moving mightily in his life. I just wanna tell you today, if you feel like you're at the end of the rope, you're not. I want you to start recalling, replaying until you get the reward of God and it's going to produce a deeper reverence in your life and it's even going to bring a renown of the people standing around you watching you go through what you're going through as they see God moving mightily in your situation.